What's going on guys? We're here at Spotted Dog in Columbia, Louisiana. This is my go-to sporting goods here in the state of Louisiana. So we're gonna go in, we're gonna get set up with a new bow today. I'm not gonna tell you what it is, we'll have to show you. All right, so we're down here at Spotted Dogs, I said earlier, and uh, Michael's hooking me up with a uh, Matthews V3 is kind of what we're picking up today, and uh, we're trying to uh, rig it out. So we're down here looking at some sights and that kind of stuff, and currently have an HHA on my PSE bow, but uh, being that I'm changing stuff over, I thought I would try something a little different. So um, what, what would you maybe recommend? One of the toughest sights out there is Spot Hog. I mean, it's you know, big dovetails, uh, as far as the adjustments go, big screw heads, you're not stripping anything out. So, you know, very, very tough. Uh, not to say anything, you know, about the other sites, because, I mean, they're great sites, too. So. Yeah. But well, that's one of the toughest we carry. Uh, and you got single pin, multiple pin, you know, adjustables. You got fixed pin sites, three and five pins. So. Oh, uh, you kind of want the, the multiple adjustable, yeah, I, right? Yeah, I shot. I know currently I'm shooting the uh, three pin on the HHA. Okay. I like the three to four pin just for down sure. here in the woods and that kind of stuff that I can adjust. Yeah, it gives you, a, you know, 20, 30, 40, you know, without making any adjustment. But yeah. you can shoot 80 if you want to. I got you. So that would be the like the fast edge. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's the multiple pin. Uh, fast eddy. You got the multiple rings for different size peep sights. You know, low light, bright light situations. That's where the multiple ring reads come into play. So I got you. Uh, but well, I've looked sight. out. I mean, I've, I've done some research on that one. Uh -huh. So I'll do something like that. And currently, I'm running a. Uh, I got a a drop. I'm not sure who makes it, but I got a drop sight on my bow right okay. now. Um, but yeah. I, I, I mean, I don't mind changing changing some things up a little bit. So, yeah. anything you would particularly recommend? Oh, Hamsky is a, is relatively new, you know, around this area anyway. Uh, company's been out for a few years, but uh, limb driven rest. Uh, so you have less tension on your cable, doesn't mess with your timing on a two cam bow and stuff like that. So, so uh, you just tie it off on the limb. Ties off on the limb. I yep. got you. So. Uh, there's a couple other places you could tie it to, but yeah, predominantly to the limb. I mean, I'm down to trying yeah. something different. For that sure. hybrid pro right there would be fine. Right here? Uh, yep, hybrid hunter pro. Okay. So, uh, well, I will uh, put that on. take your advice for sure. Yeah. And, and uh, put, put that on. New things. And yeah. Draw, check draw length, look at poundage, set peep sight. Okay. So, and uh, we'll be shooting here in just a minute. Awesome. Sounds good. Let's go get all this stuff mounted up and go right. from there. That'll work. All right. Yeah, I'm thinking. Look how thick his tail is. Look at that guy. Take a knife. He probably can stick a knife in that. Oh, she ain't gonna let you open her mouth. I got both. I got them both. Mm. Oh, she. That's alright. She's still plenty alive. <laughs> yeah, she's playing bad. Yeah, she is. Look at her. Oh, Holy smokes! That That's all right. That wings right there would hurt us too. My good. That's a freaking dinosaur. <laughs> Man, what a prehistoric animal beast right there, the alligator gar. So Chris Moon just pulled up, uh, big bow fisherman around here. We were in there getting the bow set up. We had to come out here and check it out. So we're gonna get back in there, finish out this bow rig. Peep in it. So. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So I'm gonna get our length though while we got it back. Somebody, did you take a picture of it? Okay. I, uh, 
I don't want to go stick a peep in there. That's 28 and a half. Plus the loop, and Matthews typically draws a hair long. As long as you did, if you wasn't cramped, it didn't look stretched. Yeah. Okay. What you think, son? Oh, I'm excited. Indiana, here we come, baby. What are you doing in Indiana? Oh, we're going on a little deer hunt, man. A little, little bow hunt. This guy's about to shoot. We gotta get out of the way. But no, we ain't that bad. We ain't gonna shoot that. <laughs> Tied in, we're about to start shooting the bow and uh, getting everything fine tuned. All right. Sir, got another question. Talk to the folks. All right. I got it. All right. Hey, Brand. Close. Yeah, stabilize. Let's shoot. I just bought a new bow. All right. That's quiet. Uh, That's the grunt to the right. All right. The way this sight works, I can move, and I've already done it. Big adjustment. This L piece is over here, so I was going to run out of micro. Okay. So I jump sides. Now we're a hair to the hitting hair right. Loosen that. Got a drive screw here. Figure out which way it's going to turn. Yeah. Brother, I Click it to the right. Tighten it back up. If you're shooting to the right, we move it to the right, right? That's right. There. Like 12 o'clock. What do you think, Craig? Smoking. <laughs> All right. When you red. Are oh, you good? You shoot when you red. What you got there, bro? We got the uh, Matthews V327 axle to axle setup right here. We got the uh, Spot Hog Fast Eddy three pin setup right there. So it's, it's adjustable, right? Yep, yep. You just don't have your sight tape on it yet? Not yet. Just about got it dialed in at 20 yards. We'll go from there. Pretty much you come in here, get set up. They're going to have you set up. They're going to have you rocking out with the bow shooting right dead on whenever you leave this place. So, got the uh, Hamsky um, air arrest right there. Yeah, that's a limb driven. That's Limb driven? Yeah, that's pretty, I've never that's actually, pretty sweet. Yeah, I've never used a limb driven, but I'm uh, excited. I know a lot of your elk hunters out west, that's what they that's Decided what they to try it, so that's kind of what we're at right now. Getting some arrows cut up. Yeah. Gold tip arrows? That's awesome, bro. That's gonna be a light, fast arrow. We'll focus in. All right. Four oh eight with a high four FOC. Four so that's your part. That's just to tell y'all. So he don't have to. He is shooting a lighter arrow. Most people shoot a pretty heavy arrow. Um, this one is 8.3 grains per inch. Michael is over there getting the FOC right now, which is front of center. Um, pretty much simply put the momentum the arrow has. Richard, can you explain that any better? No, you pretty much did it. Okay, so we're about to go and check and see what the FOC on these black label uh, gold tips are. You have one that doesn't have so much front of center. And that way, the back half weighs as much as the front half does. Right. And it flies like this. Yeah. Front of center, your arrow flies. It has a trajectory like this. And eventually, the one in front of center at a distance will hit higher in a target than the one that f without the front of center. Y'all listen to me. You do what you That's want to with that quiver. Yeah. Sure would look better with the more airs you had in it. Well, I got a six air. I got two six air. Okay. Let's okay. do that then. Yeah. You want it to look good. You got to get the six air. He wants it looking good like me. <laughs> I do have a green. I think the black probably be good because the, got, the, limbs, uh, the limbs, limbs are black. So the quiver being uh, black, the uh, main body of the bow is green. So. Do. Their stabilizer, I got CBE down here. CBE is the one I showed him just yeah. a little bit ago. Not that you got to get it, that's just the one that I showed you. Mm -hmm. Just because yeah, you yeah. can get a double one for the same price almost that's as you can. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, front check back it out. <clears throat> hey, Craig, you're. 
your tag sticking out of the back of your shirt. My tag? Like a dork. Dork? Yeah, if you're going to do the, let's say, that for the money, yeah. it's a heck of a deal. Package together 180 oh, bucks. The bracket is 90. Yeah. Then you got a $80 stabilizer, and then this one here is a $70 stabilizer. Yeah. So if you're going to go with a back bar, I was going to try the, um, the dual. Yeah, with the front yeah. and back bar. All right, let's yeah. do this. Right. Get it set up right. What about a wrist strap? Do you normally shoot with a wrist strap? We don't. I've got one on that bow. Um, I mean, I'm, oh, I'm one. I, I don't know if it serves any purpose. It's a security it's blanket ready. more than anything. Yeah. If you're used to shooting that one. Yeah. Like a security blanket. Yeah, more than that. <laughs> about like a whisker there. biscuit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, no. He didn't want me to get no whisker, man. Dude, I've been ragging him. I was like, bro, you're not getting a whisker biscuit. That might have been a deal breaker. Yeah. <laughs> we are not putting a whisker biscuit on it. Sean, if you see this, I, I'm sorry. Bro. Matthews V3 decked out, loaded out. Uh, these guys down here at Spotted Dog know what they're talking about when it comes to bows. So make sure you check them out. Hit that like and subscribe button right down here below. Oh! We've got a mean storm coming in. So I'm out of rain X too, son. We'll be heading out to the range here in the next couple of days. So keep looking at the channel. We're going to go check out the Washita Parish Sheriff's Archery Range. Uh, as you probably saw the rusting one right down here below, I'll put that link. We're heading out to the Washita Parish. We'll be shooting the bow, getting it tuned up. We'll see y'all there. While I was down here, um, I noticed that they are having a film your hunt competition this year. And um, they actually grabbed me and they were like, hey man, show some of your gear. Let us know what you use. Maybe what somebody else that's not very familiar with filming that they could get up in the tree and actually enter this competition. So you don't have to be a professional. You don't have to be an intermediate. You can be just a beginner person with a cell phone up in the tree filming your hunt and actually enter this competition.